As a GP, uh, the majority of, of the chronic issues I deal with are, are at least contribute to or exacerbated by our sedentary lifestyles. Recent data from the UK suggests that if you cycle to work or you cycle to school, your long-term chances of developing cancer are reduced by 53%. There are also benefits from a psychological perspective. I mean, if you, if you cycle or walk, walk to work, your chances of, of, of developing chronic anxiety, chronic depressive illnesses are dramatically reduced. I grew up in Turnier and it wasn't that long ago, but back then, and in the mornings and, and in af after school and in the evenings, these streets would be full of children going to and coming from, and, and coming from uh, school. Uh, since then, the, the rates of children cycling to school have dropped like a stone. We have some of the lowest cycle to school uh, rates in Europe. These are patterns of behaviour that we are laying down, which will have consequences uh, for decades to come. So we need to do everything we can to encourage school children uh, to, to cycle or to walk to school. And the best way to do that is to, is to provide segregated cycleways, um, the, the Grand Canal being a great example of that. But it, it's expensive and sometimes it's not possible because of a lack of space. So another way of doing that is to use bollards, to use filtered permeability through walls, to connect estates and connect residential streets, to allow cyclists to traverse the city through quiet streets that aren't used as rat runs. We're standing on probably one of the best examples of, of, of how rat runs have, have been dealt with by Dublin City Council in the past. This is Carb Road in Turnier, which used to be a very busy rat run. So a number of years ago, these bollards were placed there to prevent uh, commuter cars from rat running from Turnier to, to Cambridge and vice versa. Since then, as you can hear now, it's a very quiet residential street, an extremely pleasant place to live. And uh, laterally, we, we dropped the curb here, which allows cyclists to, to come through without having to mount the curb. Um, so it's, it's a great uh, example of filter permeability, which allows people to, to cycle pleasantly through uh, from Kimmage to, to Turnier uh, without having to deal with commuter traffic. A quiet way is a relatively inexpensive and, and relatively simple way of transforming residential streets that are currently used as rat runs by, commu by commuters to quiet streets that are vehicular cul-de-sacs and essentially only used by people coming to or going to their own homes. This creates an extremely quiet and safe way for children and inexperienced cyclists to traverse the city. There are plenty of examples around the world. In Holland, the Voonerfs, which have been in existence for decades, have been a huge success. Laterally in the UK, London have spent a considerable amount of their transport budget developing a number of, of quiet ways that crisscross the city. I've proposed that we introduce a quiet way across the suburbs of, of South Dublin City. Essentially what that is, is a sequence of cul-de-sacs uh, that are joined together and allow people to cycle right across the city using only quiet residential streets. This not only inhibits commuters' ability to use these streets as rat runs, but provides a safe and quiet way for children to both walk and to cycle across the city to school and for cyclists to use it as a mode of transport for where they're going. The proposal would be to essentially have a quiet way running from Drimlamp all the way across to Herbert Park in Ballsbridge and joining up with the Dodder Greenway. Now across that stretch there's probably more schools per square mile than anywhere else in the country. If we can create a sequence of vehicular cul-de-sacs from Drimna, Kimmage, Turnier, Rathgar, Rathmines, Ranela and Ballsbridge You'll be able to cycle from the Grand Canal in, in Drimna all the way across the city to Herbert Park, join the Dodder Greenway at Herbert Park and onto, onto the Keys and the South City without ever having to cycle beside a commuter, a bus, a taxi or a van. You would only encounter cars coming to and going to their own homes. People want to live on quiet residential streets. People want to live on a, on a street where their children can cycle and not have to compete with commuter traffic. So if we can do this, and the streets that will benefit from this, they will have people willing to pay a serious premium to have those facilities in place. We can provide a very safe, very quiet route across the city. We can allow people who are inexperienced or children uh, to get across the city in a very safe way. Uh, and once people see that, once people see that it's used, once people see that the, the, the value of the houses along the route will go up, I'm convinced that Dublin City Council will, uh, will, will provide more to the rest of the city.